Okay, so I squared up the corners here. It's ready for heat treat. So the first part of the heat treat is I'm going to bring it up to critical temperature. So I'm going to do a quick dunk in my oil. The oil I use is used motor oil and used transmission fluid, a 50-50 mix. I use the used motor oil because there is, from the combustion in the engine, there's a lot of extra carbon in the oil. That extra carbon acts as a case hardening and add just a little bit more carbon to the edge of this knife on the surface. That gives me a 58 to 60 rock well, which gives it a little bit, a little bit harder than, than this steel would normally get. So I'm going to dunk it, bring it down below uh, critical temperature real fast, and then I'm going to heat it back up. I'm going to do that three times. The reason I do that is to reduce the grain structure. If you think of soap bubbles in a jar, how they look, that's, that's the grain structure in the knife. And the, the forging process between the thermal cycling has allowed those bubbles to grow, the grains to grow. And by cycling it, like I'm gonna do, it's gonna reduce, it's gonna shock those bubbles and it's gonna reduce them every time. So it gives me a nice tight grain structure that also increases the hardness of the steel and increases the durability. While I do this, I hold on to the knife the whole time and I'm keeping a very close eye on the temperature.
Okay, now it's time to temper the blade. A lot of people think tempering is actually hardening. We're going to soften this. We hardened this in the oil. And we turned all this steel into martensite. Now we're going to come in around the back and we're going to turn this into perlite, which is a lot more flexible. It's like a spring. I'm going to be doing that with an oxyacetylene torch. And I'm going to be heating this just to where it starts turning to a purple color just along the back of the knife and I'm going to let it air cool. I'm going to do that three times. That way I know it, the perlite formed all the way through to the center of the thick part of the knife. As you can see, this is now all at a spring temper. And now we're going to let it air cool down to room temperature. Now I'm going to bring it to the 240, brighten it back up, and do that another two times.